All right, this episode's called Infiltration. I'm assuming we're going to the witch's country, kingdom, cavern, forest, whatever. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with Black Clover, episode 57. Let me write that down. Last episode, we had an assassination attempt on Fonzel after he met the Black Bulls by Mariella and Galio, Galeo, however you say it, but it was thwarted also by Mariella. She ended up showing us her true colors, switching sides, wanted to atone for some of the things she's done. Um, but now cut forward to the present tense, we have Vanessa going to the Witch's Forest, I'm pretty sure it's called, and then we have Noelle and Finral asking Fonzel and Dominante about anything they can think of to heal Asa's arms. They also say the witch's forest. So that's what I'm curious about. Let's jump right into this episode. I'm excited. Real quick though, remember if you guys want early access and full length, we are four episodes ahead on Patreon. Those links are always in the description for you guys. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, you guys can just leave me a like and a nice comment. It really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And then don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much. Uh, let's hop right on into this. Black Clover, episode 57, Infiltration. Let's go. What's the Witch's Forest? Autonomous region that lies east of the Clover, near the border of the Diamond Kingdom. Okay. Special magic like curse and familiars. Interesting. I see. So what happens if you return as a fugitive? She's already back. She's already got sucked in by the ravens. Aww. This is what we call a toxic relationship, children. Yeah, she was in that cage the entire time. Was it the thread magic? Is it that powerful? Whoa! Not even that. We don't fuck with her. Ooh, Dominante's coming? And Fonzel's coming. We got the squad coming. This is the squad. Four man. I wonder if Mariella's coming. Okay. A five man squad. Thanks for that answer. Everyone's coming. Picking you up. Okay, this should be interesting. So these are the fucking ravens that just sucked her inside. Oh, we're immediately brought to the queen. Feels like a tree of crows. So it was because of the thread. Oh, whoa. was it Yami who originally saved her? Yami saves everyone. So that's her shtick. She always says imperfect. She is one of those people who strives for perfection. Impossible, by the way. So that's her charge. She's saying she'll stay if you teach her that. Like, she just wants to, and then she'll do whatever you want. Her grimoire looks fucking sick. No worries for Asa, but obviously everyone else. A Zetsu cloak. Or a cloak of invisibility. Are 
All right, advertisement, relax. Buy one, get one? Oh, let me get my wallet. Hold on. I gotta get 30,000 yules. Already got spotted. Not even 10 seconds. What is Fauna talking to? That's not the fucking salamander dragon spirit. So let's say Fauna comes in to be our antagonist during this arc. You know who might recognize Fauna? Mariella, Dominante, Bonzel. This is going to be very interesting. Jesus. A sausage fest. <laughs> Gee, they even called it a sausage fest. What is this? Minecraft? Iron Golem? Magic bullets? Jesus. <laughs> now we have fucking 20 golays here. Jesus. Infiltration alone. Okay, nice. There, I mean, I already got a fucking <laughs> hole blown into it. Little do you know, Vanessa's already working up a contract as we speak right now. Mother of all witches, oh. Eh, I don't know if even that's true. No arms, no hesitation. Finro immediately helps him out with a good little portal too, but those fucking crows. Spitting bars out here. Yeah. So I'm saying it's rather drastic when you think about it. Vanessa's a real one. She's a savage. All right, Mariella with a quick little crystal slice. Ooh, let's see fucking Fonzel actually go ham. Everyone's about ready to pop off. Hell yeah. We do know she is ridiculously strong. Even the Diamond Kingdom doesn't fuck with her. She has like future visions. She's a crystal ball. What did the future just change? Eye of the Midnight Sun. Oh no. Here we go. Fucking Fauna. Yep, on top of her goddamn dragon. She looks so badass. Oh my god. Well, um, super fun 
episode getting into there i am definitely looking forward to some teamwork some crazy shit that's gonna happen especially like i was just hyped for the witches and the witches queen all this but on top of fauna with her dragon coming in to see fonzel mariella and dominante that's gonna be something all in itself somebody's gonna bring up mars fauna's gonna be like mars flashback time shit's gonna go crazy big fight austin might get healed maybe not he's still broken and he, like is he gonna be able to even take place in this take part in this fight because he still has no arms oh my god i'm just saying the queen seems super powerful um i love the teamwork though <laughs> the whole infiltration was just scuffed from the start we just that was just crazy. I, I do like the invisibility cloak that Dominante was able to make. She seems like she's really good at making things. She made the wand that uh, Noelle has. She made, I'm assuming she made that magic item that spews smoke, magical smoke. And I'm, uh, she, I think she also made the cloak. So she's a magic item specialist. Look at her out here. Super, super cool. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, let me know your thoughts down below. Leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Other than that, I'm super excited for next episode. Check out that Patreon if you guys want early access and full length. Don't want to wait for the next bunch of episodes being uploaded. I am out of here, though. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.